Definition of done, DOD, and acceptance criteria are important concepts in Agile. This shared understanding of done is what a product owner, like myself, wants the development team to deliver. You'd want to check off a list of acceptance criteria on user stories. Here's the catch. Jira doesn't offer a native solution to add checklists in issues. This means that the team would have to update descriptions or add comments to confirm when criteria have been met. To avoid this hassle, you could extend Jira's functionality with the checklist app. Didit Checklist for Jira lets you create checklists directly within your Jira issues. Here we have a definition of done user story, which I've whipped up for our demonstration purposes. So we have here Didit Checklist Test, and we can generate a new checklist using AI uh, possibilities. So if I click on that, we should be able to prompt it with definition of done. And my hope is that once we click on generate checklist with AI, it will give us um, a ready to use checklist. Perfect. So we have our requirements for functional requirements and for non-functional requirements. I think this is perfect. And this is something that we can use for our project. While it's possible to create checklists ad hoc, for the sake of standardization, I have configured my Jira instance to automatically assign specific checklist templates to the different Jira issue types. So I'm currently on the board view, and if I go to project settings and then to apps, we will see some options here. We will go to the did it settings test because I'm on the test instance. Here you can see within the default checklist templates, a number of issue types which have specific templates which are assigned to them by default. So for instance, we have story, definition of done checklist for story issue type. Then we have def definition of ready checklist for task issue. And then we have acceptance criteria checklist for subtasks. Let's go back to the project board to see an example of one of these issues. Let's take task, for example. The expectation is that we will see definition of ready checklist once we've created an issue. Okay, so if we go to create, and at the side here, we will select task. Let's give it a summary. So task and definition of ready, so DOR. And let's just assign it to me. We don't need to put a sprint and let's create. Okay, let's view the issue. We can view it on the board or we can click on this link, which will open up. And here we go. We have the definition of ready and we have stakeholder alignment, story composition, and other items a part of that. The best way to have an agile team follow the definition of done is to embed it into the Scrum workflow. I don't want an issue to be moved to done unless every item of the definition of done checklist is checked off. Jira's workflow validator will do just the trick. Let's dive into a demo. So we are on the board view, but we want to go to the project settings where we will find the validator. So we will head to workflows. Within workflows, we will go to edit workflow And since we want a visual, we'll go to diagram. And here we have our workflow. And so if we select the arrow, we will see some options. And here there's validators. Currently we have none, so we're going to add one. Okay, so right here we have the add validator button. And we'll be presented a list of validators. The one we want is the connected checklist is completed. We'll click add. All right, so let's see this in motion. I'm gonna hop back to the board. And here we are. So let's select a task that we have. So we have def definition of done validator for tasks and we can see that it's on 88%. It's not quite finished. The validator 
is supposed to work in a way that it will reject this task from being accepted as done. So let's see if this works. I'm going to drag and drop it in the done swim lane. And here we have in the bottom left screen that this cannot be completed. So the validator has forced us to open the task, look through the checklist. As you can see, 15 out of 17 items have been completed, but we need to complete all items. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see these two need to be checked off. Then we complete the checklist. And now if we close this, we can then try to move it again to the done column. You can see 17 out of 17 or 100%. And here we are. The task has been completed and the validator approves that the checklist has been completed for this task. When my developers work on an issue and have completed all tasks under definition of done, they would then move the issue to done. Ideally, I would like to check off some acceptance criteria at this stage, whilst also being able to preview what tasks were checked off by my team. This can be achieved with Jira automation. Let me show you. I'm going to head to the project settings so that we can have a look at the automation rule that when we want to apply an acceptance criteria checklist and append that to a definition of done checklist. So right now we are in the rule and you can see that we've chosen the transition in progress to done. But the important part here is the property value where we will insert the needed JSON code. So on the left hand side, we have Jira where we have our rule set up. And on the right hand side, we have the did it checklist hub. So this is where we will be getting our data from that we can append the acceptance criteria checklist onto the definition of done checklist. So how do we do that? We need to select the template in which we have this acceptance criteria checklist and select the context menu or the three dots and we hop down to automation wizard. We have to select this option here. So create a checklist from a template and we will just go through to the next step, which is to append. So this is for a checklist that already exists and we want to add a, another checklist on top of that. So let's select that and select next. And the important part here is the property value. So we can copy it either by selecting it like this, or we can simply select this button here and it will copy it for us. Now on the left hand side, we can simply paste this code inside the property value of the rule that we created. So let's do that and update the rule. Okay, so let's see this in motion. I'm going to head back to the project board. And here we already have a task where the definition of done is set up and we want to add or append the acceptance criteria. So we have already the functional requirements and non-functional requirements already checked off. And once we move the status of the ticket from in progress to done, the expectation is that the acceptance criteria will be appended to this task. So let's try this. We can do it from here or we can do it on the board, but let's do it from this view. So it's now been moved to done. If I close this, we can see it on the board view as well. If we now reopen this, perfect, voila. We can see the functional requirements, non-functional requirements checklist still there. And then if we scroll down, we can see that more has been added. And this is part of the acceptance criteria checklist. So this is exactly what we were looking for and the rule has worked well for us. Opening issues one at a time is inefficient and a pain when I just want to know how my user stories are progressing. I would prefer to see it at one quick glance. A checklist custom field configuration in the Jira board is all it takes. My team and I will be able to see the percentage of acceptance criteria confirmed from the board view. 
considering all your acceptance criteria have been satisfied for your user story and the new version has been released, you probably want to document this somewhere for compliance reasons. I personally prefer to use Confluence for this. Let's dive into it. All right, so let us go into a ticket where we already have a checklist that we would like to show on Confluence. So here we have the checklist and we need to make sure that this is complete. So let's do that. Perfect, so our project is finished and now we want to put this in Confluence. So we head over to the context menu or the three dots and then we select copy public link to clipboard. On my right hand side, I already have Confluence open. So let's paste it in there. Voila, we have it right here. Our checklist existing both in Jira and in Confluence, a seamless integration that is an amazing attribute of the Did It Checklist application. Just save, and there we go. I thoroughly enjoyed this demo, and I hope other product owners and Scrum Masters get inspired to standardize acceptance criteria in your Jira story types. One last thing, if your team is anything like mine, we hate the light mode. This is why we built the Did It Hub to support dark mode. For cool configurations like this and more, please do try out the app for free. I'd also love to give you a personalized demo that is tailored to your team's needs. How about you schedule a demo with me via the link in the description? Thanks for watching.